Jennifer Leiden is a world-renowned jazz bassist that is known for many things. The left-handed virtuoso of the upright bass. One of the finest basses on the West Coast. The trans woman that had her career destroyed and rebuilt by her own string callous fingertips and a community that wanted nothing to do with her. Leiden, in the past 20 years, has been awarded the 2014 Community Leader Angel Award and 14 Best Film Awards for her feature film documentary, I Stand Corrected. She was one of the top 20 pioneers in Vanity Fair's Transamerica 2015 edition, and LA Weekly named her as one of the 50 most interesting Angelinas in 2016. Her album, Mood Swings, was one of the top three jazz CDs of 2015 and number one crossover jazz top seller on CD Baby for over eight weeks. She's an incredibly competent and outspoken solo artist with an even more interesting background, scrawling her name down in history with a permanent mark on his smile. Leiden was born in 1953 and grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. At the ripe age of 20-something, she dropped out of college to pursue a career as a rock and roll bassist before transitioning to jazz full time after a short break from an accidental outing. Leiden played for over 100 albums during the early stages of her career and began making quite a name for herself. She got married and kept playing, appearing on over 130 CDs and working with such renowned musicians as Woody Harriman and George Shearing for quite some time. She wasn't happy though. Leiden knew from a young age that she wasn't the person she was born as. It was stifling, but she managed to keep it under wraps until 2001, where she came out publicly while on tour with Doc Severinsen after beginning gender reassignment surgery. This was a risky move, and one that, at first, predictably did not pay off for her reputation and image in the jazz community. She was still able to get gigs in clubs and other small joints, but was practically barred from festivals and other larger events she was previously privy to and a part of. Jazz is old, and so are many of the folks that fund these festivals. Despite everything, though, she pushed forward. This time, she was ready to face the flames head on. Ultimately. Leiden's efforts paid off in the form of her 2006 album, The Real Me, which remains one of her most popular albums to date. Her career took off once again, this time with the real Leiden behind the bass. Leiden, on top of being a bassist, has composed several albums of her own throughout the years, though she has a much heavier hand to play in most of her recent work than she did before. Within these albums are several songs that stand out as some of her best work. All of her music is written for jazz ensembles, small ones at that, yet managed to capture completely different energies and emotions in unique and awe-inspiring ways. Stick It In Your Ear was released in 2006, in her album The Real Me, and was a cheeky, bitter, yet hopeful jab against intolerance in the jazz community, and how the music industry has changed for the worse through greed and ignorance. She hopes that, one day, future generations will change music for the better and make us something to be proud of again. Something they can be proud of. It's a song of hope that lights a spark in those listening, and is a direct challenge against those who tried time and time again to squish a career and her voice. Split Brain, also released in her album The Real Me in 2006, is a song directly following the timeline of her transition and the gender role society has put into place. It follows her hesitation and worries and resignation before she follows her heart and stops forcing away the very things society was telling her was wrong. It's a love letter to herself and other people that might be in her situation. A reassurance that through the pain, something is worth fighting for. I'm Afraid the Mask Creator's Over is a separate piece altogether, releasing in her 2015 album Mood Swings. I'm Afraid the Mask Creator's Over is a very different song from Split Brain and Stick It In Your Ear, taking up a much more somber tone and quicker pace, and was an overall a song about waning love and the pain that comes from watching each other fall out of love and being unable to do anything about it. It's a gut punch. Losing someone, whether through a death or falling out, is a simple yet inevitable part of life that everyone goes through at some point or another. It's a period in our lives that we must be able to heal from. I'm afraid the masquerade is over is like picking at a scab, making its presence known through pain and a lingering wound, but reminding you that it'll heal. That, although you may never get over the loss, one day, you'll be able to be happy again. I feel like Leiden's work is important for musicians to be aware of because of the themes and undertones of her music. The, her compositions are daunting and incredible and gorgeous to listen to, and it's a shame that, outside of festivals in her studio, it's rarely played. 
Jazz is undersaturated when it comes to the type of music Lida plays, and her journey is one of the most fascinating I've ever seen because of her reactions to similar situations in different periods of her life, and the risk she took to get to where she is today. Looking into Leiden, I wasn't really sure what I was looking for, or even expecting. At most, I was hoping to find an underrated but relatively alright musician with a story to tell and enough to tune, and at the end of this project, I got so much more. Jennifer Leiden is an inspiration. Someone I found myself looking up to the longer I looked into her music and background and accomplishments. Someone that came from nothing, growing to someone worth paying attention to and losing it all before crawling her way back up the ladder of success and taking her place once again as the left-handed virtuoso of the upright bass, one of the finest basses on the west coast. <laughs>